People often ask why the state has problems funding education when the lottery was supposed to fix that. Hi, I'm Senator Joe Fain. We'll break down 30 years of Washington State lottery history in 57 seconds. The perception that our state lottery helps pay for education came about partly because of a series of failed attempts to first create the lottery in the 1970s and early 80s that would have done just that. In fact, during the same time, there were several equally unsuccessful proposals to create and dedicate the lottery to transportation, cities and counties, and social services. The legislature finally authorized Washington's lottery in 1982, but the proceeds were not dedicated to education because the global economic recession had just ended and lawmakers wanted greater flexibility with the money. In 2000, Washington voters approved Initiative 728, which earmarked lottery funds to the new Student Achievement Fund, primarily for class size and school construction. In 2002, the lottery expanded to include the multi-state game Mega Millions and dedicated the first $102 million of overall proceeds to education. But in 2009, following another economic recession, the legislature directed lottery proceeds back to the state general fund as part of a plan to close the budget deficit. The following year, the state changed plans again, directing more than $100 million a year from the lottery to support higher education scholarships and financial aid. While it's helpful to dedicate lottery revenues to education, it's important to know the financial context. Each year, the lottery pays out about $370 million in prizes out of the more than $600 million it collects. Even if all the proceeds were spent on schools, it would still amount to less than 1% of what Washingtonians spend each year on K-12 education. If you like this video, share it with your friends, then contact me and let me know what we should cover next. Thanks for watching.